It seems no matter where you live, there's a little gem place to fish at. Close to our home in Trail, British Columbia, there's High Mountain Lake. We've done a couple shows at High Mountain Lake, and it's always produced big fish. And now, the local fly fishing club is working on enhancing the creeks that feed the lake to allow better natural recruitment and to maintain the level of the lake. Don and I don't get back to High Mountain Lake very often, but the anticipation on the size of the fish makes it worth all the effort to get to the lake and produce a show. Okay. Here we go. Return to High Mountain Lake. Hopefully, there's big fish still in here. <laughs> well, you know, this is the very first place I ever fly fished at. Was it? It was right here. And the very first show we ever did, too, was right here at this High Mountain Lake. Oh, that's right. That Kelly took you. Kelly took us in, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you guys did all right, too, as I recall. Well, there's some big fish in here, so that's what we wanted to do is come back today. We haven't been here for two years. Yeah, at least two years. So we want to see if the big fish are still around. Well, even, you know, we've caught, what, 24-inch <coughs> fish out of here before. Out of this little pond. Out of this little pond, yeah. So uh, hopefully they're still here. Hopefully guys haven't poached them out. Yeah. Which I don't think they would have. Well, I think catch and release is really getting big. And people come into a lake like this and they know it's pretty special when you get the size of fish that are in here. And so they're catching releasing. Oh yeah, for sure. We're seeing them move all around the shallows here, aren't we? They are. They're really moving. So I think the chronomid's not a good choice right now. No, they seem to be like in the... Uh... You know, on my first cast, I had the hit, and I put on the little uh, damsel imitation. Actually, it's a New Zealand damsel imitation that uh, my brother Dale gave us. This little guy, scrappy little guy. Well, it's a good sign there are fish moving. Yeah, it's a great sign. Yeah, start off nice and it's done hook, barbless hook. Nice little guy. Yeah, right Healthy on. Healthy little fish, just a yeah, little 10 inch or whatever. A good warm up. Well, I saw some bigger ones. Oh, <laughs> that's a better fish. He smoked it. Jeez, I changed around to kick into the shallow water. Yeah. And that guy hammered it out there. So you still have a damsel on? Still a damsel, yeah. I think that could be a, a candidate for the bench. Ah. Because it's a modified damsel. It's a, it's a New Zealand style, which which is, oh, that's got some weight to him. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. That's almost a fish of cast. <laughs> that's great. Hey. Made me switch. I took the coronament oh. off. Whoa! Gotta tighten that drag up. That was he was zinging that line off. Oh, boy! Yeah, he's not happy. I finally kept one on. Let everybody get a close-up look at that fly you got too. Just in case you choose to tie something else oh. up on the bench. Yeah. Not as big as we're going to get in here, but, oh boy. Oh no. And he got off. I think you better check your fly. Oh, that's crazy. I had a lot of pressure on him and he spit it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was a nice fish too. Gee whiz. 